Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today it is March 31st of 2018. It is uh, 11.46 a.m., so in less than 15 minutes it will be April 1st. And here in the United States, I'm not sure if it's outside the United States, maybe Canada or someplace too, I don't know, but will be April 1st, April Fool's Day, and it's a day that uh, a lot of people and even businesses and, and stuff like that play tricks, try to come up with something, and uh, I, I'm not really, I'm not really into that. Uh, I was trying to think of some of the... Uh, I had a ham radio magazine that uh, QST, American Radio Relay League, that I subscribed to a long time ago. I think I was maybe in, maybe I was still in high school, I don't know, but I didn't pay attention that it was the April issue, and there was this article, and I can't remember the details of it, but I'm, I'm reading it, and it was, you know, technical type of article, and I thought, wow, I can't believe this and that, and then put it down, and then I think I told somebody, you're not going to believe the article that I read, you know. And uh, then, of course, I noticed that it was April, and so that was what they, and the next month or whatever, they had letters from people, you know, letters to the editor talking about it. Uh, so anyway, you tomorrow or in a few hours of course it's already in the UK and other places it's already April 1st but uh, if you log into some US site and see something really bizarre it could be that it's a prank oh you know I've almost got 2,500 subscribers but I've been signed up with Amazon since they started in 2005. Of course, I was doing videos before there was a, uh, did I say Amazon? Uh, I was uh, signed in to, um, YouTube began in 2005. I signed up in 2005. I've been doing videos since 2005 and I've, I'm just about to get to 2,500 subscribers. I did a video yesterday and it got 36 views. I did a beauty, uh, beauty. <laughs> I did a video uh, two days ago that has got 38 views. Another video that I did uh, two days ago has got 50 views. Um, a video I did three days ago has got 76 views. Uh, I I go to YouTube. Well, in the last thirty six, in the last twenty eight days, uh, you all have watched thirty seven thousand minutes of my videos. There's been 13,000 views of my videos. I've picked up 35 subscribers. Uh, I made in uh, commission or whatever for the last uh, 28 days, $31.38 from YouTube. Um, I enjoy doing this and I've been doing stuff like this since 1982 before the World Wide Web was invented. Then uh, back before that I used to do a radio program that was uh, broadcast around the world over shortwave radio. I put out a number of publications uh, back when I was in high school and out of, out of high school. Always been into communicating and bringing people together and all that type of stuff. But I'm looking at the numbers here of, you know, the views that I get 
you all been really nice. I mean, I get nice comments and thumbs ups and uh, but if you look at the numbers here sure I mean occasionally I've got a video that uh, has received many many thousands of, but it but look uh, really you know uh, if you look at those numbers I I'm not going to, I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'm not going to stop making YouTube videos. Uh, what I'm going to try to do, though, is I'm, I'm going to try to get out of the idea that I um, have to make YouTube videos. Even yesterday, I made a video, and I said I was going to be making videos every what was it, Friday? Friday of each week, I think that was it. Uh, so, uh, I'm not going to stop making YouTube videos. I'm just going to try. It, it. Like, I've been blogging every day, several times a day, since 1982. Now, I stopped, basically, you know. Uh, now, I make YouTube videos occasionally. But I'm just going to, it's, I think I'm going to try, and it's going to be difficult for me to do because I'm used to doing it. It's a habit. It's been a habit since 1982 uh, when my computer had 48K of memory, uh, not 48 megs, not 48 gigs, 48K. And when people connected at 300 baud to begin with, uh, but I'm going to try to just do a video when I really have something. If I go someplace, maybe, uh, you know, make a video or make a slideshow or do something. But uh, And it's going to be difficult for me to do, uh, to get out of the habit of just making a video. But that's what I'm going to try to do. So if you don't see a video from me in a, in a while, it, I am 77 years old. And I'm not going to live forever, but hopefully uh, I'll still be around and kicking. Today I went to make a video with my G7 camera. If you watch the other videos, you know I won't go over that again. But I really didn't read the, haven't read the manual on this. I've had it several months. Haven't read the manual. So I went out and... Uh, Hit the red record button right there. I've got my finger on top of it. I better read the instructions because when I came back, all it had done was made, a, I think, about a two-second video. I thought that would be the record button. And, uh, uh-oh, wait a minute. It's not, it wasn't set in uh, the video. I had it set on the... Okay, anyway. Maybe when it's in the other mode other than the video mode and you hit that, maybe it takes a two-second video. Uh, anyway, what I'm... Because... Another reason, too, that I want to try to change my attitude towards making these... Uh, I mean, it, I'm not successful I'm not being having two or three you know after two or three days to have 50 views I mean that's nice and I appreciate it but I'm not making an impact you know really an impact and uh, I'm spending more money than you know that I bring in although I'm I, I never did any of this for uh, you know for money and even back when I was started the computer bulletin board system and when I did everything that I did back then. I never did it for money. Uh, I just did it because I enjoyed doing it, enjoyed messing with the stuff. But I'm paying out so much money, and I'm on a limited income. And when I think of uh, something, uh, 
I was thinking the other day, I positively do not need this camera. I have, I have three, but this one, uh, Panasonic, the FZ80, has a, a zoom of 20 to 1,200. 20 to 1,200. I don't need a super zooming camera, but I, I, I was thinking the other day, oh, I really should get, and I, I was thinking in the past about, I was thinking about even that uh, in, instead of the R7 uh, that I got here, uh, or a G7, I mean. But that was the thing, you know, I was thinking, I said, why, why in the world? And it was, it was like, uh, for the for some YouTube videos, that'd be really, what am I thought? My God, you know. Uh, and I put things on, you know, the wish list. That mean I'm going to get all these things, but I just put things on there, and it's it's something I think. Okay, that would be um, that'd be good for you know doing this with making YouTube videos and that type of thing and. If I could get out of the mode of making YouTube videos, I mean, just make them when, in, you know, you go on vacation or you go someplace or you see something interesting, do it the way people upload to, I guess, to Facebook a video or upload to some of those other places that they do. You just send a video with, photograph their food when they're, if I could just get into, okay, do that. But when I'm in the mode of I have to make YouTube videos, then I'm looking around thinking, oh, well, okay, I, I need two monitors. I need uh, this other microphone. I need a microphone stand. Uh, I was, uh, let's see, I was thinking the other day about getting, and I haven't, I'm, I may still, I'm getting a 32 inch monitor and then I and I was thinking you know then I could put some things on here and then do the full screen capture and that type of stuff and I may still get it a 32 inch monitor would be kind of nice but then I was thinking uh, if the only reason the, the main reason for getting it would be for you know YouTube, it has uh, software that uh, split screen software that divides the screen up into easily, so I can I could do it without split screen software. I have split screen software for my other long monitor, same software, but it would be really uh, nicer if I could, and then I would just drag and drop <coughs> when I was getting ready to do a YouTube video. But then I thought, you know, otherwise, you know, this 27 inch is perfectly all right. And then I thought, okay, what would really be nice would be this 27 inch 4K, which I would not need at all for for that would be something for myself to watch some videos in or play with some stuff. It wouldn't be something that I needed for uh, you know YouTube. And I thought that'd be nice, you know. But then I always think, oh, okay, well this would be good to be used for you know. So if I could separate these things out, think about getting a new cell phone. And this is what I'm thinking about. If you have any opinion about it, let me know. If you you know if you own it or I've done, I've looked at a bunch of YouTube videos about it. And like I've said, just about every day when I make a video, I have a blue uh, cell phone, and it works. Uh, it works fine for me. I have no it. You know, the cell phone I had before. Uh, I'd try to add an app and then it would say not enough memory or whatever. I've never had, when I went to this, 
then I've never had that problem. This has three gig of, of memory. The other had two gig. Uh, of course, I have SD card, you know, an SD card in it. But uh, thinking of going to the, this cell phone, uh, <coughs> And I like the idea that it has some really good cameras on it. But I don't really, and I never, it's very rare to ever use, well, I use a cell phone sitting here at the desk a lot for popping up at the calculator or doing uh, doing something. I do, but uh, I don't, for so, far, so far as phone calls are concerned, or even it's very unusual for me to take a photo with it. Now, I'm, I got a lot of medical problems. I don't, and we don't own a car. So I don't go places every, you know, I don't go places every day or every week, you know. But I am thinking about this. Uh, let me know if you have a comment about it. My God, uh, Ted Nugent, a, if you're outside the United States or maybe even in this, he's a uh, country and Western singer, He's up there in years. I don't think he's as old as I am. I don't know, but uh, he's really filled with hate. He uh, didn't like President uh, Clinton. No, wait a minute. It was, well, I think Clinton too. I think it was Obama. Yeah, Obama, he actually threatened his life. Up on the stage when he was doing his act, he threatened the president of the United States, I believe, I believe the Secret Service actually paid him a visit. Uh, and what he said was totally, uh, totally wrong, even if, even though his politics, you know, Ted Nugent's extreme right wing, extremely pro, you know, pro gun. He lives in here in Texas and flies around, I guess, on his property or other people's property uh, from a hill. He doesn't fly the helicopter, but uh, he uh, shoots hogs from his, you know, from the helicopter. And now he's attacked, called the Parkland survivor, the school survivors of the school shooting, calling them liars and soulless. He's on the NRA, the National Rifle Association Board of Directors. That's... Uh, We shouldn't get to, I mean, he could, he should be able to express himself and say, you know, well, I don't agree with their, those young whippersnappers out there that uh, are uh, wanting more gun control and that type of stuff. And he could even go a little further than that. But uh, uh, that's just a bridge too far. Apparently, I don't know if it's, oh, but anyway, uh, the right wing and especially like the NRA and whatever are attacking these uh, survivors from the school who had friends killed in front of them and who had to step over, I guess, dead bodies in the hallway and who saw blood and all this type of stuff and, uh, the right wing, the pro-gun people are, are attacking them. Uh, and uh, the best thing that, but anyway, I, I went to, I, th I think this is it, yeah. This is a right wing hate site. But sometimes they have a little bit of reason and I, I check them every few days to see what their opinion is on something. And uh, they don't like the uh, teenagers in the high school, those high school kids or whatever. And they, they really are attacking them. But I mean, even they say uh, that, uh, like they, of course they say for the parents need time to need, you know, step in here and rein your kids in and uh but then of course they comment on uh 
Ted Nugent's, uh, what he said, and of course they say uh, that he went too far and he should stop saying that because they know it's not productive. But, uh, and then of course they throw a three things, you know, a few things like, well, the kids do, do, you know, but then all of the comments on, of course, this is a right wing site. Let's see, where is it? Is this it underneath? Uh, no, it was underneath the, uh, you know, if you want to, yeah, anyway. But all of the comments, you go down here, every one of these comments, every one of them says, uh, spank the kids, they sh you know, uh, they kids get what they, they should get what they deserve for that, you know, I mean, that's, it has become so divisive here in the United States. Uh, it's, it's really sad. So, uh, that's my plans. And I've sort of tried that before. And, and when I used to blog several times a day, uh, I tried a few times, you know, to stop doing that. I guess I'm a compulsive. I don't know. Am I a compulsive person doing something repeatedly over and over again? Or I'm not sure. Uh, so, um, I think, I think that's it. I'm definitely not going to get that camera. I have cameras that I barely use now. I may get this cell phone. Um, I put things on, not everything on here I want to buy. I put things on here to remember uh, also. Um, and I do need to order some more of these. Uh, you know, aspirin or whatever. Uh, and I can't make up my mind about... Uh, I buy a lot of stuff. Let's see, orders. I buy a lot of stuff, and I buy a lot of stuff from Amazon. This is stuff that's been, you know... This is recent stuff. Haven't used this hand stabilizer. There's another thing I got for. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that if if, uh, if I didn't want to. Uh, so. That's this monitor here that I'm using that you see here. In fact, I've bought four of them. Bought one for, well, I bought, the first one I bought was for me, but my grandson was living here with me at the time, and he liked it. I gave it to him the day I got it. Then I bought another one, and gave that to my son, and then I bought Maybe this is the third one I've bought. I thought it was four. I think it was four. Anyway. Uh, I bought this knife. We don't have any decent knives. and We have you know knives and spoons and forks. But so far as it comes to something for really cutting something. And... Uh, the ex-wife and my grown son, we all share this apartment, and that way the expenses are less. So uh, anyway, I bought this knife, really sharp and really nice and a really nice. And the ex-wife is, when I got it, was all, and it's really sharp. And also, point the point is, and... She was afraid that she would cut herself or she was afraid that she would 
cutter, which I could see reaching into the dishwasher to take, you know, take it out. Or uh, afraid that I would be using it and drop it accidentally and on the cat that's underneath my feet or whatever. So right now this knife isn't, but uh, she's been buying some big hams, pre-cooked hams or whatever that are really large. And it's with the knives that we have, it's really hard to cut, you know, some thin slices or whatever. So I'm wanting to use it. I think I'm trying to get her to, so she won't freak out. This ice maker, we use a lot of ice and I finally got around to buying it and she was, the ex-wife was uh, in favor of it too and even mentioning time to time, which is unusual because she's really tight with money. And, uh, but uh, she was saying from time to time, when are you gonna order that ice maker? It's been working all right for us. It, you know, it makes ice, but, uh, once that ice is made and goes into the tray, it's not refrigerated up there, so it starts to melt. So, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what you have to expect. I mean, it just makes ice, but it doesn't. But first time I, well, of course, I've been at work at, you know, at work and you have ice machines and stuff, but so far as it was in, when I was in Miami, uh, the place that we rented had a refrigerator that had an ice maker on it, and that was so nice. We're living in an apartment here, so that their refrigerators don't have ice makers. Uh, this did not work out. Good. I messed. I, I think I told you about that. This uh, bite plus a hundred and seventy dollar box that's Windows ten. I messed it up somehow when I was. I think I did something wrong. It's it's working. The ex wife is using it, but. This was actually a gift for somebody else, so it went direct to them. Pretty neat. I saw, first time I saw it was on Twit TV, and uh, Jesuit priest or whatever was demonstrating it and telling, giving ideas about how to do things. And. Uh, This I actually bought and then returned. You may remember me discussing that or whatever. I wish that had worked worked out, but it didn't. Anyway, it is now April 1st. Too bad I can't pull a, a hat, something off, you know, and, and be Donald Trump or something. I did have something, I do have a little, not a trick, but something that I, I've been wanting to do, but now if I stop, well, I'm not gonna stop making YouTube videos, but not sure what, what stage it would go into. Oh, by the way, I wonder how, let's see how this works. Let me close this and Where is it? Oh, yeah.
Welcome to Wondrous Tree. I'll just do 10, I'll do 10 spins. Whoops, got to pull my picture back up again. Oh, somebody recommended OBS to me for making desktop videos and for live streaming. I've had it in the past and I did not have it, well, I formatted my computer too and everything, but I do have it back on. But I never uh, used it very well because, uh, so I looked at a couple YouTube videos to figure out how to uh, get it to work the way it needs to work. Let's see, uh, hold on. Okay, I disappeared again. We'll spin here nine more times and I'll bring this to it. I wanted to see how uh, doing it this way, you know. Well, let's go a little bit longer and see if I can get at the top here. Get to the stage where it plays. So, you know, you put it in the stage. Or something. The audio from the game might be too loud. Might be competing with my voice. Oh, Fabulous. Okay, Take those up there. Two more spins. That's it. Hi, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Get us up there to 2,500. Uh, thank you very much for watching. That's not it. That's it.